Hey everybody, this is Matt. I'm making a new Pokemon TCG video. And this is video is going to be about a card from the newest set, Steam Siege, and that is Chandelier. So Chandelier um, is a really interesting card. So, so Chandelier basically plays a lot like a Night March deck or a uh, Vespi Queen deck. But instead of trying to get Pokemon in your discard pile, you're trying to get supporters in your discard pile. And, that, and it does more damage. It does 10 damage plus 10 more for each supporter card in your discard pile. So I tried to design a deck here that would run a whole lot of supporters. And as you can see from the list on the right side, I'm running 24 supporters. And that's a whole heck of a lot of supporters. I think a lot of decks nowadays run close to like 8 or 10 supporters. So it's a lot more. But it actually is a really good upside because you don't need Shaman. You really don't need Octillery because you almost always have a supporter to play almost every single turn. It's really, it's really decent um, uh, consistency because of that, you know. And uh, it, it also allows me to run a whole lot of different supporters that have different benefits you know like Bridget can go get basics the link wit can discard cards from the opponent's hand Giovanni's scheme can allow my chandelier to do 20 more damage or draw until I have five in my hand Lysander you know always useful Misty's determination allows me to discard a supporter and also look eight cards deep for something N is always useful professor Burgess observations is always useful psychic's third eye is like if my hand is like 20 cards I can just discard a whole bunch of them um, but it's also like a last ditch effort because I'll be drawing a card for every card I discard from my hand. So that could actually deck me out even faster. Skyla, it's just useful to go get any kind of trainer. A lot of times I needed to go get a VS Seeker so that I can uh, use a supporter card for my discard pile. I mean, once you get all the supporter cards in your discard pile, VS Seeker becomes such a, such a clutch card. I mean, such, not really a clutch, but such a vital card. You know, because it allows you to reuse any kind of these supporters, and it's like you have like the Swiss Army knife of supporters in your discard pile. So uh, Steven allows me to go get any supporter and a basic energy, which is always useful. Uh, the deck uh, it only runs eight psychic energy, so sometimes it has issues getting a uh, a psychic energy out. Um, Team Flare Grunt is just disruption. You know, it, it's really useful against like double colorless energy. Um, especially in a matchup like this against a Mewtwo EX deck, which is definitely going to uh, take advantage of the double colorless energy to do more damage. Uh, teammates is useful because the deck is slower. I will give that the Chandelier. It is slower. It's a stage 2 that takes 2 energy. You can't double colorless it. And I'm not running any rare candies because I think it would just kind of slow down the deck some because... Uh, you know, it would just be more trainers that would clutter my hand and I can't get can't get rid of it unless I have the basic in the stage 2. So, you know, teammates comes and help because I will be losing the prize battle almost every single time. They will be KOing one of my Pokemon early, most likely a Wobbuffet, maybe even a Litwick, who knows. And then teammates comes in there and I can reuse teammates every time I want with a VS Seeker, even though there's only 4 VS Seekers. So you can really only reuse them like 4 times. And then I have 14 here now because he's just a really good draw. There's a lot, a lot to do with this deck is having everything in your hand so you can discard it when you need to. Whether it's with a, uh, you know, uh, an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is super useful. Discarding two supporters to go get a Pokemon, you know, and stuff like that. Or a Misty's Determination to discard a card from my hand. All that kind of stuff. Or even a uh, Psychic's Third Eye to discard stuff from my hand. And so Tierno allowing me to draw more cards is useful to keeping my hand size big so I have more options it allows me to go and get my Pokemon quicker too so finally is the Wally and the Wally is just like the last ditch effort the last ditch effort if I just I'm not drawn into the evolutions when I need to thankfully the deck has a lot of draw so I'm always drawing some cards or something and a lot of times it allows me to go get the Pokemon really quickly, lay down a bunch of basics. That's why I only run one Bridget because I don't really need it that much. But you'd be surprised, even with eight eight basics, how many times I mulligan. Uh, you know, I've had games where I mulligan three or four times in a row just because of... I don't know, it's just weird with eight basics, you would think not. So in this matchup, I'm facing off against a really, really quick Mewtwo EX deck. And here's a good thing. Chandelier is psychic, but it's not weak to psychic. You know, so the Mewtwo is psychic, but he is weak to psychic. So Chandelier 
takes a bit of a time to really build up. You know, I have 24 supporters, so we can do possibly 250 damage if I get them all in the discard pile. But that doesn't usually happen. And a lot of times I'm doing 60 to 100 damage on average uh, early on. And um, I get to suck your Pokemon, it's even better because it's double. So like I was able to hit that uh, Mega Mewtwo EX for 120 damage, which means, you know, given the right cards and stuff, you know, build up another chandelier, hopefully, attach another energy, hopefully I get it off to this inn and stuff, and, um, you know, knock out the Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo EX to two prizes, so it's kind of trading two for two. I wish it was slightly stronger, and that's where the Giovanni scheme can come in, because the extra 20 damage, like, definitely against a Mega Mewtwo EX. Um, an extra 20 damage means an extra 40 damage because of weakness. So, uh, just the deck has a lot of ways to just continually cycle through cards in the deck. You know, whether it's, you know, Acro Bike to keep drawing new cards, Ultra Ball to discard stuff to go get a Pokemon, VS Seeker to just reuse all the different supporters. Even Chandelier has its own Poke ability where um, it can look at the top two cards of your deck, choose. It's basically an Acro Bike, it has an Acro Bike built into its thing. And, uh, you know, Acro Bike on top of Chandelier. When you get out multiple Chandelier, it starts discarding like mad. Because you're like, discard a card, discard a card, discard a card with like three Chandelier. Then Acro Bike, discard a card. Okay, and then Missy's Determination, discard a card. And then Ultra Ball, discard two cards. I mean, you could discard like up to 10 supporters in one turn, given you have a good setup, you know. But it's really getting that setup. So, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, watching this video. I hope you've learned about a cool little strategy. This is a fun strategy I don't think it's gonna be that competitive, but I enjoyed playing this deck It took me about 10 battles to win one, but I finally won one and that's the one I'm showing you today So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video Have a fantastic time playing Pokemon TCG in the future everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye